<laughs> well, it's been a long and emotional journey and frustrating, but we're finally at the end of Majora's Mask. I'm a little late, Yacht. And Paul McCartney's bass line in She's So Heavy is amazing. And I'm only streaming this tonight because I want to make sure I finish it. It's possible I'll stream something else after this, but... Uh, I want to say I really appreciate you all um, donating to the charity that was totally last minute. And uh, this stream was just intended for a one-off just a couple hours and it ended up being something more than that I mean for me it was a good chance to revisit a game that I really loved and we ended up together solving the mysteries and getting the 20 rupees and doing the other things and uh, and also you know possibly doing something good like I said it's been it's been fun it's been a good stream for me I've enjoyed it I hope it's provided you with some frustration and entertainment. I'll miss it. Even if it wasn't the full Majora, even if it was just a bunch of randomized go gobbledygook all put together, it was great. Truly one of the best games ever made, in my humble opinion. Even if it does have some frustrating game mechanics. See, I can't just say it's one of the best without being honest about it, but... Just as I mentioned the game's problems, the music gets... Spooky. I mean, it just worked on so many levels. Timing my birthday, 35th, with Tingle. And, you know, the, the, the nature of this game to begin with, given what we're going through, uh... I just couldn't have thought of a... it really was... I guess the exact right game for me to stream. For me, at least. So... Um... Chat, I, someone... What happened? Uh-oh. What happened here, chat? Oh. Good thing I had that backup save, no? So that's, um... That's a problem. The, the owl statue overwrote the, uh, the manual save. That would have completely dead-ended the run. That was the most terrifying moment of this entire playthrough, holy shit. I actually need a second to catch my breath. Alright, we're good. Hi everyone, welcome back to the stream. Um, I'd like to let you know that someone found Nobunga in an old video of mine. Cyber Akuma linked this. Do you remember the game Goblet Grotto? Are you Goblet? I streamed it in 2015. Akumajo Nobunga. There he is. I doubt I was remembering that. I doubt... Th I, th I thought there was someone on the Final Fantasy dev team named Nobunga, but now we know he's actually a part of the lore. He's real. Akumaja is canon. I think we're gonna have to... His ancestor was Hideki, and he... The Nobunga that we talk about is Akumaja.
Akumajo literally means demon castle. It's the name Castlevania in Japanese. Oh, Akumajo's castle. Right, 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 right. Um, do- what do you think, chat? Should we- Akumajo works? I think it kind of works. Considering, you know, the menace that he is to video games. Sure, why not? Just Nobunga is way better. Well, we're not going to call him by his first name often. For me, like, you know, I'm planning on just calling him Nobunga. But if someone asks, you know, we, we know who he is now. Vinny, are you forcing a meme? Um, no, 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 no. Forced is actually the probably the best way to say it. Yeah, p uh, past tense. It's more lore than anything, I just... You know, it's just part of the, the lexicon of video games at this point. Like, booty blasting as a Goron. Also, I'm not talking about flesh falling off this, the bones today. That's Tuesday, as sa stated last time. I've been, um... Like I said, I, I ended up the day after. I was like, man, I was really just in a weird fucking foul mood last time I streamed this. So, I'm more than happy to, uh, to delay the skin talk until Tuesday. Vinny Maneater just came out today where you play as a shark in Evolve. I heard Lime stream that. Is it, is it any good? EGS exclusive. Uh huh. Well, we're not doing that conversation again. It's. I've already had several people tell me, Vinny, here's exactly why EGS sucks, and showed me a feature list comparison. And I already know. I know how I feel about it. I don't want to go back into it. It's just infuriating to talk about. Especially because there's a part of me that's like, well, competition, good. But um, I'm not. I'm not going to be playing that game. Sorry. So anyway, I do like sharks though. Then you talk about your favorite band again instead. Yeah, well that's positive at least. Um, that makes me happy. Epic Game Store discussion makes me fucking miserable. Uh, hang on a second. Alright, so chat, it looks like we have everything we need just about. I think we do have everything vital. So... I just have to go to Ikana. Which is something that Scotty in Star Trek would say a lot. I cannot do it, Captain. Chex Quest? I'd consider Chex Quest. If it's an hour long. Yeah, whatever. Any thoughts on Kit Fisto being killed in episode three? Um, I thought he went out pretty badly. Honestly, he didn't really get a chance to even do anything. He just kind of like let an old man stab him. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't happy about that. Is his name really Fisto? Yeah, his name is really Kit Fisto. Yeah. So. Chap, how do I open this gate again? For maximum quickness? Just go left. You can never open the gate? Okay. What if I just go here? Well, that was easy. 
Well, I, okay, hang on a minute. If I want to get to Stone Tower, I have to do all this stuff. Like, cause there's stuff up here too. We can take a look around real quick. Any light arrows? Um, people were saying I don't need the mirror shield. You can just go straight into Stone Tower. You don't even need to visit Ikana? Okay. Um, but you are... I don't quite know how to get to Stone Tower. The music box quest is a nice short side quest here. Okay. Vinny, you can't do it. Oh, do I need a mask for it? I don't have the Song of Healing. Never got the bunny hood either. Area is so fucking creepy. I love it. I guess this is... this is spring water? I, I don't... um... I mean, I'm just looking around, I don't remember much of this area. I, aside from this fucking amazing music, but, um... thought you were supposed to get something here. No. The house is working now? This activates the music box, but it doesn't get you anything. Okay. Oh, we get to hear the nice music. Vinny, that's hot dog water. I still don't really boil hot dogs. I like to- I like to grill them. You know, press them for whatever information they may have. And then I eat them. Ready for wonderful music. Wait, no. Where, where's the extra cool music, chat? Oh, this is it. This is it. Yeah, I like this music. This is good stuff. This is where Ben. Wait, do I need Ben now? I think I can hold off on Ben for a little bit, right? Do I- you, you can spawn multiple Bens, right? I, I'm calling it Ben. It's, it's not... Just one from each mask. Okay. Got that, Ben? It's Link. There he is. I just want to know who on the design team thought this was a good idea and then approved it. 
Because let me tell you, it's a fucking great idea. Aonuma really... Aonuma really had some, uh, disturbing... ...ideas for what this game could be. I... ...do not disagree with his decisions. Aonuma hates this game. No, he had some issues with choices he made. But, um... When the 3DS remake came around, he, he, you know, retooled it, and... ...for better or worse. I think both better and worse, and, you know... But we could talk about that narrow video for ten hours, and still no one would... ...no one would be happy, and nothing would be solved, but... ...I think, um, he, he tried to do some stuff... ...in a way that would maybe make a little more sense. But anyway, uh, I still think Aonuma... ...fucking killed it with this game. Shocking how how good this be. For his first um directorial debut as uh, you know for Zelda. Someone said I still like the 3DS version despite its flaws. Yeah, no, I feel that. I, I do too. I, I enjoyed playing it. Watch my playthrough of it. I enjoyed it. Um, I know one day I'll be able to stream it again. One day in the future, I'll be able to like play a version with better textures and with all the fixes, and it'll be fucking great. And it'll, you know, be like massive resolution. It's gonna look awesome. I can't wait. Even if it's five years from now, which would be kind of perfect. Or better Nick Cage textures, yeah. Yeah, you can already do it on Citra with good resolution and a couple fixes, but I believe there's a texture pack coming from Majora's Mask 3D as well. Neryl is doing both versions. There you go. Vinny, get the mirror shield because it's actually my actually real OCD makes me anxious that you won't have it in the end game. Well, I won't. Um, but that's okay. B b what? Mate, it's it's fine. I mean, I I too like the design of the the shield. I think it's creepy and weird. Just give me one second here, chat. But, uh, yeah, it might be a huge fucking pain in the ass to get that shield, so I don't think I'm actually going to attempt it. Um, just gonna take a quick look on the map here, and, uh, definitely not the spoiler log. So chat, the frog choir over at the mountain. Is that a tough quest to do? Do I need anything special? I need the Garo mask, right? That's a huge pain in the ass. You... You need to beat every mini-boss again. <laughs> okay. Just the frog mini bet. Okay. I'm good. Alright, so, um, chat, do I need to bend these, these switches? Yeah! 
That's just to go back. Did you get your chunky shrapnel vinyl today? No. No, but I can tell you what I did. Um, I heard all of Realign in full, start to finish. And, uh, in a decent track order, almost all the songs completely mixed. So... It fucking sucks. So just keep them hopes all the way down. What's wrong with it? Oh, it's just... I, like, I heard my voice on it. I'm like, ugh. I hear my own voice. That goes too small. He doesn't... I feel like I might need to do this, but... Um... I gotta get rid of old Benz. What in the 3DS version was there a like a Ben button, or am I remembering incorrectly? No. All right, never mind. It was the same as it was in this. Is there still COVID donating? No, 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 no. That that ended a couple uh, days after. It didn't replay the song after the first time. Oh, that's what was different. Yeah, like I said, though. The donating for the COVID relief made me really happy because, like I said, just New York. Um, there was even someone else in my life that, that um, you know, is, is not doing great, is still in the hospital. It's, so it's still happening. Um, not someone, you know, I know, like, it's not like a family member or anything like that, so I'm, I'm grateful for that, but at the same time... It's... It just never ends, the fun never ends. Uh, so... Even if it was a small thing, I'm, I'm glad that people were, were kind enough to, to go and... And do it. Do the thing. And the other things as well. Trying real hard to, you know, stay positive. What the fuck? I don't know if I have to bend here. Hang on. Well, that's not quite helping right this second, is it? This part always fucking confused me. This confused me so much. You keep moving off the switches, but I'm I'm not sure. Any another bend below? Well, I I put a there was a bend over there. Didn't did I not put a bend there? Could have been there. I 
I've never been there. I see what you did, chat. That's good. Vinny, I'll never forget the Viper the Rapper discussion. What you thought you did when you played this game on the 3DS. I really so I was here and I was talking about Viper the Rapper. Well, history repeats. Um there was a meme going around recently about how Billie Eilish wrote a song in quarantine. Like, Billie Eilish made her, you know, made a song. And people were like, they put a picture of Billie Eilish's one song to Viper the Rapper's 350 albums that he made in one year. So, that was a William Eyelash meme that was going around. And I think they, they used the cover of Viper the Rapper's Y'all Cowards Don't Even Smoke Crack. Yule, Yule Cowards, he wrote? Is that the, really? The name of the album is Yule Cowards? Like Yule Log? He made some songs about COVID, saying he made it. Is- is he alright? Like, is he doing okay? Cause... what? That doesn't really surprise me that much, given Viper's... You know, when you're writing- when you're doing a full 300 and something albums per year, you run out of material and topics, so it's- it's... You're eventually just gonna say every sentence that can be said in the English language, and then every other language, too. So... I just can't believe that dude's still making, like, that much music. He's not making, like, 300 albums a year, is he? Like, what is he... Has he slowed down to, like, 200? I don't need the Scarecrow song here, do I? That's bonus over there? Okay, never mind then. So I, I actually caught a fairy in Terraria earlier, and their materials, I don't know what you do with them, but when you hover over their tooltip, it says, hey, listen. So... You're supposed to use them to find treasure. They were upstairs. They were uh, upstairs, they were outside. So they weren't leading me to treasure. They kind of went back and forth. Vinny, you can flip the tower already, probably saving you time. Um, I'm sure someone who speedruns this game probably knows... ...if that would be a good idea or not. You're gonna need the boss key. 
Vinny, his newest song is called Guns Don't Kill People, Viper Do. Oh, okay. Like I said, you eventually just run out of stuff to talk about in your songs. So you, you, you just have to, just everything. Just everything. Boss key is in the flipped version. Flipping it will save time. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that worked out in the end. Didn't I just do, like, sky flips in Terraria? I was just sky flipping all over the place, and now I'm sky flipping in this game. Yeah, this is nothing. I mean, you saw what was going on in Paper Ball yesterday. That was a trick. I just did a speedrunner trick there. It's got tissue that I wish you saw. Bodega in the midst of fall. Birds at the bone dead do ne What's the name of that song again? Oh I I think the name of that song is God is to What was the other song? Someone said something about a Chili Pepper song. Can't stop. That's yeah. I, I like that one too. He goes, "Stop beat the bad beat do." I think he's talking about pita bread in that song, which I like, so I'm a, I'm a fan of that one. What's the song where he says, ever wonder if it's all for you? Is that Can't Stop? World, I love the bean, da pa pa dee da pa pa dee da pa pa Wait a minute, you're telling me this entire world is just for me? Thank you for the validation, Anthony Kiedis. Um... Well, they really don't want me fucking hookshotting onto that treasure chest, do they?
I think uh, Deku Stink can get, get up here and do it. That wasn't a sneeze. Thanks, though. I had a- oh, I had a dream. I had a weird dream that I just remembered. I was watching Jack White live in a room it was like a round room. He was doing, I think, Raconteur's songs, and he ended one of the Raconteur's most popular songs, which doesn't actually exist in real life. And he had like, uh, it was a circular room, and I was in there watching and enjoying the show, and there were a bunch of like people in white suits dancing to the music in like a circular pattern. And then he gets to the end of the song, and he bangs on a gong with a skeleton. And then I woke up. Watched too many music videos with the pepper last night. There was a pepper in VR chat. I played a little bit, and we were watching music videos, and, and a pepper, a dude dressed as a pepper joined us. And the dude was just a menace. He was putting on, like, someone's ass. Like, we were watching, um... You know, just 80s music videos, like, just good stuff. And then this pepper guy joins, and he doesn't say a word. He's just a pepper with, a lo like, long legs. And he goes over to the video player, and he's just putting on, like, just pure loud trash. And we... it was like, it was like, how dare you, pepper man? And he would just sit there. Or he would crawl on the floor. And then just as we're getting into the video, pepper would show up and change it to, like, the, the person's ass. I really don't know what to do in this fucking dungeon, do I? I probably need to get that key. That seems... like a good thing to do. You never need to flip the tower again. This is taking forever, chat. Go to the middle one instead? I didn't think Deku Link had enough... ...um... ...distance. Go in the tunnel in the wall. I'll be honest, doing the dungeons out of order has- has left me tremendously confused. Because... If it wasn't for the chat, I'd- I'd be having a lot of difficulty right now, especially... Considering Zelda dungeons are designed in a way that you get the item... 
and it makes some level of logical sense to fucking know where you're going next. But as I'm playing this, I have every item, so I just get confused. The attacks on my life have left me scarred. So you now we go... We go this way. Can you get up there, buddy? Oh yeah, you can! Oh, I was overcomplicating that. Oh, it's just a stray fairy. Alright. Vinny, don't worry, it's not like you're on a time limit. True. True. I'm just trying to get my speed run under two weeks. I guess I kind of do have to flip the tower again, don't I? Vinny, will you do randomized Wind Waker at some point? Would you say what randomized Wind Waker is a longer randomizer or, or a shorter one? A bit longer. I, I can't wait to dig up every Triforce piece looking for the, the one item I need to progress. You can start with the full Triforce. Oh, that would make life a little easier. But I'm, I'm talking more about, like, vital items. Is there a randomized Twilight Princess? Um... I don't know. Maybe. Vitams? I was gonna say... I was gonna say Vitams, but I, I... I didn't, so chat did instead. Good, thanks chat. Something happens and I'm head over heels. <laughs> I wonder if those were actually the 80s dude's voices. Or if one dude did that in the early 80s and then every other 80s singer was like, I want to sound like that. Because there, there were a whole lot of 80s dudes that sounded exactly like that. It was a meme, Vinny? Um, yeah, it was, actually. Yeah, it, it... it actually was. The slime serve a purpose too. The cure. Yeah, there's them. Um, again, XTC. Andy Partridge kind of had that voice. Tears for Fears, definitely. You know, Duran Duran a little bit. I feel like. Are there any examples of people from the 70s trying to sound like 80s man when the 80s rolled along? Like, that would be weird if, if someone, like, modified their s singing style to be like, 
80s man! Bowie? Bowie always had that. If you listen to, um, Young Americans, and, like, late 70s Bowie, he was definitely doing the Bowie voice. The, you know, the classic, like, hammy one. But he did it way more in the 80s. Which is, incidentally, his most creatively bankrupt period. So... Except, let's dance. Did you like Bowie in Dancing in the Street? Um... Street Place? What? Uh, yeah, I thought it was a very silly video. I like the video where they take the, the music away. And you just hear Mick Jagger and Bowie just, like, grunting. And, like, screaming. What about Scary Monsters? Well, that was... Was that 79 or 80, Scary Monsters? Scary Monsters is one of my favorite Bowie. 80? Yeah, so that's just on the cusp of, of 70s right there, but... I feel like Scary Monsters is almost the culmination of everything that came before. And it just feels like a fitting... Almost like a finale to the 70s Bowie. That, that's one of my first Bowie albums that I ever really kind of became obsessed with. And, uh... So... It doesn't sound... it sounds... That, that album's kind of almost a response to punk. That's who the scary monsters and super freaks were. I, I think. I'm pretty sure, at least. Thoughts on Black Star? It's such a good album, I can't listen to it too often. Is, is how I feel about Black Star. It just makes me too sad, but I, I think it's yeah, it's great. I've talked about it lots on the stream, but I will say that Black Star plus the No Plan EP that came out afterwards are both prime Bowie. So. Vinny, my German friends love you. Say hi, please. <laughs> Guten Tag. Probably said that all kinds of fucked up. Vinny, that's good night. Well, they gotta leave now. Everybody knows the rules. They have to leave and go to sleep. Guten Morgen. Yes, that's good morning. What time is it in Germany? I think it's- it's pretty much Guten Tag time. Guten Nacht is good- good night, and Tag is evening. Or day, day, day. And then Guten Morgen is good mor morning, and then... It's 7 a.m. in Germany right now? Guten Abend is good evening. Okay. See, I'm learning. I knew this stuff already, but now I... will forget it again in a year, but... Someone named Just a, Just a Idiot 101 wrote, Wow, Vinny, you're so smart. I know. Can he shoot arrow? Uh, shoot arrow. I didn't see a spot. Shoot arrow with the hanging bombs. Oh.
What phrase do you want to know how to say in German? I want to know how to say Bonjourno. The last small key you need is in the room with the three ghosts. Go back that way. In here. Okay, so there's a small key in here then. I guess I have to kill the ghosts. Which is still, a, you know, incorrect. Kill, can't kill the goat, goats, ghosts. Shoot them with light arrows to make them smash down. <laughs> Fucking hell. So this is a pretty short dungeon, if you already have the light arrows. I mean, not, like, tremendously short, but... Yeah, because I always dread this dungeon. Not because it isn't cool, but because it, it is confusing. For a, a smooth brain like myself. Yeah, I remember it being kind of long. If you're going for the fairies in this dungeon, it's absolute hell. Which is- which is a shame because... ...you get the best weapon in the game, arguably, from getting all the fairies in this dungeon. Also, uh, someone was saying, Vinny, what's your favorite, uh, dungeon music from Zelda? And I gave, like, a kind of a generic answer, like, you know, Link to the Past. Um, Forest Temple from Ocarina. Stuff like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and say... This might be some of the best dungeon music, too. Zelda 1 has good dungeon music. Yeah, it does. It just, you hear it so... It's such a short loop that it gets really annoying. But the melody itself is classic. I love it. I love the dungeon music from Zelda 1. I, I like the Zelda 2 dungeon music. It's San Diego! It's not South Detroit. But, yeah, the loops are just very repetitive. But they're still really really memorable, and whenever they've done any kind of motif revisit of Zelda 1's dungeon, I've, I've always been very happy.
my favorite Zelda music piece overall. I don't know. The ending of Ocarina of Time comes to mind. Gerudo Valley, um, Ocarina of Time Overworlds. Wind Waker, Great Sea. Oh, man. Oath to Order. I don't know, man. It's just... I would say on a whole, Final Fantasy, for me, like, has the stronger music per game. But Zelda as a whole, like, throughout the whole series, is... If I had to, like, choose my favorite series for soundtrack, it might be Zelda. Shit. Also, because there's so many games, and there's always, like, a couple pieces of music per game. Or more than a couple that are amazing. Someone said, Vinny, do you think it's fair to say that Breath of the Wild had a bad soundtrack, even though the music was designed exactly for the purpose... ...of being sparse like that? It most certainly did not have a bad soundtrack. The Rito music... ...made me fucking, like, tear up. Oh, man. Hyrule Castle. It was just sparse on purpose, because that's what they were going for. You know, if you're playing the game, and you're... ...for like 89 hours, you're gonna get sick of it. But when the piano flourishes come in, you know, there's a lot of them. They're sparse, they're brief, and sometimes you get a little hint of the Zelda theme. And it works really well, because it's, it fits the open nature of the game. I would have liked more music. I'm also a big fan of that weird maze theme in that game. Like when you're going through the Lost Woods, I like- it. just perfectly Zelda, perfectly creepy. I, there's like at least four or five songs on that soundtrack that are as good as anything else in the series, but there's just not a lot of it. On purpose. Vinny, don't forget the dungeon item. I don't really need it. Wait, should I, um, soar out of here? Do not soar. Not yet. Where- so, where to, chief? This one. God damn it.
What's up, Germa's audience? How you doing? Rat raid? <laughs> this is one of the fucking weirdest enemies in this entire game. In the entire series. Like a fucking walking Beemos. What, what's the new, what's this Kit Fisto meme that's happening now, chat? Why are we lamenting the loss of Kit Fisto all of a sudden? I literally just brought him up. Because, well, I didn't, but someone in chat did and we talked about it. Germa killed him? <laughs> okay. It's treason, then. Germa, why you kill Kit Fisto? Don't do that. Do it. Do it. Someone said, why is chat obsessed with Germa? Well, I think there is just a raid. So there's like thousands of people from Germa st stream. That's one. Two, Germa is just a really good streamer. Why not? There's, there's a big audio, uh, audio. Well, that too. That too. But there's a big audience crossover. We have some similar bits. Though Germ is the better streamer. <laughs> Go! Yes! <laughs> Someone said apples and oranges. Alright, it's fair enough. Fine. Rats and, um, and, uh, meats. What, what, what's, and, and, and mushrooms. Rats and mushrooms. Someone said nice compliment fishing. I was content to let him have that. Until my audience defied my rules and gave me a compliment. But then you brought balance to the force again, so thank you for that. Um, do I have to jump in this, like, like, orgy portal? I don't remember this. I don't like it. Oh, I do remember this, yeah, okay. Uh, while I liked the concept of Majora's Mask 3D's, like, giant mask, where you, like, become big and punch, I remember also being quite frustrated. It was a very long fight. I need health. Aren't there hearts in these things? 
Give me health! Magic. I do have a fairy in my inventory, but I should have probably brought another. Hagrid, check it out. All you, you gamers these days with your 60 frames a second. Back in my day, we had one-third the frames and we were happy. We were lucky! He responded. What happened here? I've I've hung up with Vinny in real life. He's a really he's a great fucking person. He's a really good dude. He he is like he's exactly like how you think he is. You know what I mean? Just like the most chill dude. The most like just he's exactly the way that you think he is. Is he taller than you? No, I've, I've got at least two or three inches on him. He's probably like, he's like, he's like five, he's like five eleven. I'm like fucking six two. You know how it is. On my face. And if you think you see some tear tracks down my cheeks, please. Please. Don't tell my mate. Thanks, mate. Well, okay, I guess... Alright, alright, since we're doing this, I'm not gonna... This won't happen too often, but I will say that Jerma might be one of the few people I've met that do the things, like go to space and do the other things, that is even nicer in person, and even better in person, than you would expect. How's that? Huh? Now it's a compliment competition. Competition. And he's at least four inches taller than me. No, he, he really, he's great. Honestly, we had a lot of fun doing the weird carnival game nonsense and doing the secret technique. Oh, god damn it. Are you are, What? What the fuck is that shit? Why does it warp me back? Chat, that is fucking... Bullshit. I mean, okay, fair enough. If you want- if you want the, the game to, like, kill me for going... Off... The, you know, the scripts, fine. But why bring me back to the beginning? Oh my god. That was lame. Get fairies at the owl statue, alright. No, but uh, I will say though, like there's a there's a couple people I really enjoy hanging out with in person that I've met through streaming, and one of them is Jerma. Kraken's the other. She says, um, Ross, I never really got to hang out with in person because he was when I met him, he was really really sick. This is going back like three or four years. 
He was like, con plagued out. So, of course, my mods. It's the best, of course. But, uh, oh, I gotta do the thing. Wow, that that's, um, we just lost a lot of time on this speedrun. But yeah, I met Ross. We didn't really know each other. And, oh, We didn't know- we didn't really know each other, so when I met him, he was just- he had some pretty bad con rot. Have you ever met Joel in person? No, I haven't. I haven't met... Um, Darren, Joel... I, I haven't met a lot of the Vine Sauce people, but... He's never been to the U.S., and I haven't been outside the U.S., so... Yeah, I haven't been outside- one day I'd like to be outside the U.S., like, I think if- if anything... I've taken the ability to travel for fucking granted. And now, I don't want to anymore. People are saying, come to Brazil. Come to Brazil! There's UFOs in Brazil, I can't. There's that video of the UFO, where they're saying, like, they killed E.T. And it was just smoke in the distance, and like a weird, like, carnival light in the sky, and like, the video was just... ETs have landed in Brazil. And it was just someone, like, put a smoke bomb... ...on the ground. Wow. Oh, that's- that's chill. Oh, and no fairy either. Oh! Oh! This is anti pog. I don't need the extra fairy. I have I have plenty of health now, but I, I can't- I still can't believe I got kicked out of the boss room. I- I probably needed to, like, hit that thing, like, two more times. Oh, God. What a- what a fucking mess, and then- And then people like Vinny go back to the owl statue. But yeah, without name dropping too much, I will say she says had a party and a couple people were there that were real real cool. And I enjoyed that. Beta 64 is another really good dude in person. Swanky box. No name drops. I'm not trying to, like, name drop and seem, like, cool, like Kanye, P. Diddy, that kind of shit. Nothing like that, but... Do I have to... Do I have to remove one of these now? Because I did this out of order? I can't... I... I'm gonna have a fucking conniption. Why do we do this? Why you- why?
I like how there's no attempt to explain how Link gets back here like this. Like there's just they just make him fall and then it resets and he's good. Oh man, well. I've made a lot of mistakes in this dungeon. And it should have been over like 15 minutes ago. Help! Vinny, have you met Michael Vine Sauce? <laughs> oh, yeah. Science guy, right? Is chat also a cool person? I've met chat in person, and I'd say they're they're mostly all right. There's like an eighty-eight point nine percent all right ratio. Yeah. Sometimes even like close to a hundred percent. But you know, it just depends on. It depends on, um, if chat's having a good day or not. You know, sometimes they don't bring the good day with them. But chat's pretty alright in person. Well, Vinny, what's the worst experience you've had with a Vine Sauce community member in person? I get that question from time to time, and my answer is always... There's not a chance in hell I would actually tell you that story. And the truth is, really, in person, nothing all that bad. Like, I'm not gonna tell you an embarrassing moment that someone had because they dropped their spaghetti because they were nervous at a convention. You know what I mean? Like... Diarrhea Kazoo was not in person. That was... The dude ordered a grab bag, got the kazoo, which was different than the usual convention kazoo, played it, and said it gave him diarrhea. So, I had nothing to do with that. I did not manufacture the kazoo, nor did I tell the person to play the kazoo. Also, results inconclusive. There's no evidence that the kazoo actually gave the person diarrhea, for real. Which is older, Vine Sauce or Vsauce? Thank you for asking that question so I can brag a little bit. No, as far as I'm aware... <laughs> As far as I'm aware, I started my YouTube channel in February 2010, and Vsauce started theirs in May 2010. That's the only thing that I'm aware of. I don't know if they were around in some capacity before then. Hell yeah, 20 rupees? But the name, uh, my nickname being Vine, and like, or Vines, was many, many years even before that. Um, and then, it was one of my friends that called me Sauce. Vine sauce. Probably in like 2004, 2005, and I didn't remember it until 2010. And he probably only said it like twice. So... I don't know, it's just a weird series of events.
Well, I got the nickname Vine because my friends and I were playing uh, Mario Party 6, I think it was, and, and I've told the story a million and one times, but... There's a minigame where vines grow out of the ground and you have to climb them, you have to jump from vine to vine, and whoever, you know, is up furthest of the vine wins, but it looked like the vines were coming out of an asshole. Because the ground kind of parted in a very assholeish way. So... It was like, you know, you, you wake up and you call down, Mom, is it okay if it's vines? Honey, what are you talking about? It vines, you know, coming out of my, my ass? I don't know. We were easily amused. I guess I still am. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? That was... I was tingled that said that, not me. Yeah, heart. Thanks, Tingle. And, uh... And... So anyway, um, because my name is Vinny, some of you may knew. You maybe knew that. My name is Vinny. Um... Vine and Vinny. Vin, Vine, they sound very similar. So my friends started calling me Vines. Or Vine, and, and that's that stuck. Um, even if they barely called me Vine, but it started with uh, vines growing out of an asshole. Which is about right, on brand. Chat, where can I bottle up some fairies? Another weird statement, but totally accurate in Zelda. What's a- where's a good fairy fountain in this game? Get red potions? Next to all owl statues? Is there, like, an actual, like, dedicated fairy fountain in this game? There's, like, two? Vinny, you need some milk? Oh, I've got... I've got my milk. At the bottom of the Gibdo well? There is a chest right there that you have ignored all of this playthrough. Mate, it respawns. It was worth it to see that. Someone said, um... Gibdo- so Gibdo well is- is where exactly, chat? Get me there. I wanna check that place out anyway. I can It's not worth it. Gibdo Well is not an easy place to visit. You need the Gibdo mask? Alright. Well, these fairies do not actually do anything. I mean, they'll restore my health, but... Vinny, you have the Gibdo mask, though. It's 
No. You can buy fairies at the shop next to the bomb shop. Also, it's really nice that I don't have to do the Deku stuff. The, the Deku scrub. You know, do it every day thing. Whatever that is. The, the Deku playground. Yeah, that's what it's called. Also, why is it legal to sell fairies in this game? I don't... I don't approve of this. This is... I'm not... Not into it. Oh yeah, you can, really you can actually buy them and red potions too. Um, red potion is full health, right? Three and three. Is the Fierce Deity's Mask among the randomized loot? It- it's on the moon. There's an option to make the moon loot stay on the moon. can't do the, the moon. If you don't enable that, you might get locked out of important items, right? I, I think so, or you might need to do glitches. I don't have all the masks, no. I won't be doing the cafe quest, I'm sorry. This is, again, this was supposed to be like a quick randomizer stream and it ended up being a fucking full thing, but, um, sorry everybody. You can... You could watch the, um, Majora's Mask 3D stream I did, or someone else maybe probably did the cafe and Andrew quest. Yeah, and now I guess we, uh, we wait as my mayor just hangs out over here. Do you intend to WAP alone? I putat mock. There's an I putat mock on the moon, chat. I know what it is, I know where it is. No, I guess no one knows. Uh, it's- it's the Majora's- Sorry, it's- it's uh, I did a Majora's Mass Corruption years ago, and it had some really interesting dialogue, including I putat mock.
so peaceful. Everything's just peaceful and chill. Can he take us to the Ram Ranch one more time? No, I'm not gonna do that. Also, Romani has the brain scramblies now. It'll make me sad if I go back there. Oh, there's one. I mean, this could just be Link's job. Like, if he got hired, say Termina wasn't in any immediate danger from the moon, and Link needed a job, they could just hire him to, like, take out the enemies at night. He could just stand here, just, like, snipe them. To keep the roads clear. Actually, these motherfuckers respawn re relatively quickly as well. Would you live in Termina? Um, Clocktown seems lively enough. I don't know where everyone lives in Clocktown, though. I wouldn't live while the moon was falling, um, but it seems like a pretty chill place otherwise. On the street, in the wall? I mean, there's, there's an inn. There's one inn. Does everyone just live there? The postman lives in his office. It's like everyone lives where they work, or they just, I don't know, live in the fucking wall or something. We're almost there, chat. So if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, I'm just killing time. Uh, we have to wait for the the, t the tower to open. And then we can go do the thing. I guess that's kind of the theme of this game. Just killing time. Vinny, why do you have infinite mana? Uh, there's an easy Chateau Romani that I've been getting at the very beginning of every day. It's been a fucking godsend. Chat, if I use the song of Slow Time now, will that actually work for this? And you don't think it's necessary? Probably not. But definitely not. No, oh, no, I must get a hold of myself. I must guard the gate till the captain's orders come. Even Business Scrub is just still here. Business Scrub could probably fly to the other end of the world. If there is such a thing. Uh, 
Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess the randomizer just doesn't fuck around with this part at all. It's just whatever. It's gonna skip the cutscene. Nope. Uh, y uh almost. Almost. Yep. It's. Oh, uh, it skipped the cutscene. Sorry, chat. This is not your Majora's Mask playthrough. The four giants show up. They come and they save. You know, they start lifting up the moon so it doesn't fall. And now we're in some fucking psychedelic nightmare wonderland. Um, inside the moon. It is an amazing cutscene, and I would recommend you watch it on YouTube or something, but... This is just as creepy. Um, each of these characters has, like, a little mini area that you give them masks and they consume. But you need all the masks if you want to do all this to get the Fierce Deity Mask, which is, you know, the best mask in the game. Makes the Majora fight pretty fucking trivial. Twin Mold Kid has a few chests. Fierce Deity might be there. Here's the thing. It says, Fierce Deity, Majora Child. So that doesn't seem like it changed very much, did it? You only have weak masks, so you'll play. Well, shall we go? Fierce Deity is exactly where it was originally, chat member, who just asked. Um, the other stuff that you get, 30 arrows and 10 bomb chew and some pieces of heart. Tendrils. Why he made of spaghetti? I don't- I don't know. He chose to be made of spaghetti. Oh, that's such horse shit.
stop. Damn it. Majora's Roomba. Yep, the ending really just has you fighting actual masks. I've only ever done this fight like one time without Fierce Deity. Because it just, it makes the fight too easy and I, I had no problem just 100%ing the game. Careful, fire on Zora is one hit KO. What the fuck? I love this phase. It's so fucked up. It's like the whimsical, chaotic nature of the mask. Like when it moonwalks. What's an actual penis music? Uh, I think they just- they hired an actual chicken to do the sound effects for this. Fucking noises. I forgot how creepy they were. It is a, yeah, I mean the there is a moonwalk and they do sound a bit Michael Jackson-y. 
weirdly enough. Your horses there, cowboy. Oh shit, it's got Beyblades. Stop, mate. Then don't you wish you had those ten arrows now? Maybe. Oh my god. Wow, he's nasty if you give him a chance. Kidding me? I don't know. It just happened like that. Stop, please. Please! Please! Oh my god. Okay, okay, Majora, please. I mean, people are saying it was a clutch. I had, like, five more healing items.
Well, at least we get this ending. We get this cutscene. And the moon gets to piss off, moon. It's a weird fucking game. It's a really fucking weird game. Ah, he's awake. It was like that the Skull Kids have beaks. <laughs> These fucking giant designs. That's like me in an anim like wearing an Animal Crossing beak. You guys hadn't forgotten about me? You still thought of me as a friend? It sadly doesn't hit as hard in randomizer without the preceding cutscenes and you know the, the stuff that led up to this but if you've played the game it's like you know holy fuck did you did you save me thought they didn't want to be friends with me but they hadn't forgotten about me friends are a nice thing to have could you be my friend, too? <laughs> you have the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods. I know, I know, let's do something. Oh, so the evil has left the mask after all. Well... Now I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. And yes, that's for those that haven't played this game. That's just the way he animates. He just cuts. In the beginning, when you play the game, you get a lot of, like, uh, scenes with him. And he just cuts from frame to frame. It's real weird. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely just for a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me, Mr. Freeman. But my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. That is truly a good happiness. Well, both of us have gotten what we were after, so this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Okay, so Link has been dead. Alright, he's dying. The oxygen's leaving his brain. This was all in his brain. This was all in his mind. And his regret, his doubts, his fears, were, we just saw all of them. What, you don't like that theory? Alright, I'll stop. So Squall is dead, and Renoa is Ultimisha. I don't know, 
I, I kind of like the ar allegorical, I was going to say allegorical, <laughs> allegorical nature of the game, even if it's not like 100% true. I like to view it like that a little bit. Because the themes are in there a little. You can look for them, you can find them. Here we're going, jumped over the hill. It's also why I think this is one of the best Zelda games, because there's just a lot of different, like, heavy themes that it tackles. I think it's, it's between all the characters and the three-day cycle and all the side quests and the fact that it's, there's only four dungeons, but the world is so fleshed out. Even though we didn't get to see a lot of it for Randomizer, I think this has the best narrative of any of the Zelda games, for me. Even if it is a smaller scale story on the grand scheme of things, and it's not Hyrule, and it's not Ganon. It's the one that most affects me on, a, on an emotional level. Could you check where the Fierce Deity Mask was now that this is all over? I told you, it was the Majora Child. It was exactly in the same place. It was vanilla. But where was it? Are, are you kidding me? I just told you. Because male models are easy to manipulate. But... Why male models? While this is happening, chat, I'm gonna generate a new seed. And I'm going to start with the Fierce Deity Mask. Just for a second. Bunny hood that we never got. Where was the bunny hood? Great Bay Coast Ledge. Bill Trinan. It's in there. There's Andrew and Cafe. There's me. And once again, most people don't know that Link did a goddamn thing. Just like at the end of Ocarina, no one knows. Oh, that- that story is really fucking sad. 
That is a nightmare. God, the poor bastard. I'm trying to find the randomized music option. left side of cosmetics tab. Oh, thanks. And there it is. That's, I like that. Where's Navi, though? See, the song points to the Lost Woods. He got lost in the Lost Woods. He became a Stalfos. And this was just the, his brain. Man, this is brain, and then he became the hero Shade. I like that theory too. It's a lot of Majora theories. The hero Shade. You want? Hey, just watch some Zeltic. I'm sure Swanky Box did plenty of stuff about this too. But yeah. all right, now we're gonna do the Nick Cage version, all right? It's me, Nicholas Cage. All right. The moon. That is perfect. Okay, so I randomized sound effects too. <laughs> Consider this like a little bonus run. <laughs> <laughs> this is a complete accident, and it's great. Every sound effect has been amazing so far. Huh. And also, I got the mirror shield for that one person in chat who was going mental. What is this music? This is Mario Kart? Music fits really well. Vinny, you have no magic. Oh shit, they got Gerudo Valley in here too. Wait. Um, can anyone confirm whether or not I can use Fierce Deity? It should be a gimmick option. Alright, we'll do another seed then. Allow Fierce Deity anywhere. Yep, got it. Damage mode, four times one hit KO, Doom. Death is Moon Crash. Alright, so I'm gonna also edit Magic for Link. And Chateau Romani, why not? second I'm, I'm looking at uh, magic power um, extended magic power and I can't find Chateau Romani this is the same
moron. Bottle contents are not available as starting items. Well, shit. Let's try this. <laughs> that tingle. Oh, that's, probably, that's another good one. I don't know what song that was either. <laughs> oh my god, dog, please. this <laughs> Yo what up it's me Link Just get through that door real quick no problem I'm here to save Termina! Gerudo again? Excellent battle music. This music is either. I, I really want to know, like, what is the pool of music that they're drawing from? Like, what? How many games? That's Super Mario 64 music? I guess in the Zelda sound font, it just sounds weird. Massive leaps. Someone said they got Breath of the Wild Castle for Pirate Fortress. Holy shit. Any backflip? Backflip over the gate? No. Shit. 
God, could you imagine doing a run of this and finding Fierce Deity right in the fucking beginning and just using it on all the bosses? Just fucking melting every enemy. To be fair, though, I got light arrows pretty early. Revenge on the Kleiner bird. I found Fierce Deity in the shop for 10 rupees in one of my first playthroughs as a member of chat. Climb up that wall and jump over the boulder as Fierce Deity. Hang on a second, I want to buy that milk real quick though. Oh, I don't have a bottle. Wait, so what am I doing, chat member? Oh my god, oh my god, what? Oops. Okay. That was 100% uh, correct. So, so they. This is why they didn't allow fierce deity in the overworld. I did it again. <laughs> Fuck! It's too easy to jump off. time. It's the quaint days of video games where it was just a wall and some trees. jump slash to get over the rock. <laughs> 
Jesus. I mean, is it really even worth it? Uh, I guess I'll try again. I mean, chat wants to hear the music, and I kind of do too. Motherfucker, I almost made it. Someone said, I can't sleep until you conquer the rock. By doing it on the other side. You sure about that jump slash? Maybe I should try a somersault. Bone noises. Oh, what kind of japery is this? Now I can't even hear the music here. Kill aliens as an angry god? <laughs> Star Fox. Oh, that's the dog. <laughs> Slippy, get back here! The horse is making human noises. Think of worse music. out so far. I need to uh, find a way to damage Link. Let me bet. The hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Morph Wharf. More Star Fox. Bell! Yeah, it's me, Fox! Bell the dog! We're gonna fight the UFO! Some shit luck on my end. At least Blue Dog wasn't in last place. Is this- someone said, is this marbles on stream? It's the newest- Oh gosh. It's, it's the newest trend. It's just dog racing in Majora's Mask over and over and over again. I need to find a way to be damaged. Like the Joker. Play the Song of Time to get out of there? Oh yeah, that's true. Hmm. They didn't even model the back of this rock. Why would they? For people like me. What do you think Fierce Deity would play if he had an instrument? Uh, either the bass guitar... ...or a fucking... ...saxophone? I don't know. Immediately chat says penis music. Where's the damaged beep? No damaged beeps. Actually, before I... before I die, hang on. It's still the Ocarina in Hyrule Warriors. Oh, I forgot Fierce Deity was in Hyrule Warriors.
Same. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I could just walk across the whole thing now. Yep, no need for swimming or hopping of any kind. The birds are your life meter? Oh fuck, you're right! All right, that's Majora randomized. It was fun. Thank you all for watching. Uh, again, this did not... I didn't go into this with any intention of playing it over two weeks, but I'm glad I did. It was fun, and it made me kind of happy at a time where anxiety is high. And also, we got a chance to, you know, do something good for some other people, and I will always be very grateful for that. So thank you chat for watching and for also helping out the first day of the stream. And it was also nice to uh, see some of the other weird options. It turns out Fierce Deity Everywhere is amazing. And also fucking randomized music is great. But uh, who knows when the next randomizer stream will be. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in a couple minutes. I'm going to play some Terraria for like 50 minutes or so, because I'm not sure the next time I'll get a chance to play it, and I don't want to shaft Trials of Mana again. So, we're just going to take a quick break, and I'll be back with like 50 or so minutes of Terraria. It's not a lot, but why not? Song first, 